So in this segment of video, I'll actually be showing you guys how to actually use the USB receiver with an Android smartphone to pair it with the headset. Okay, so what I have with me here is actually the Samsung Flip 4. So do make sure that it has a USB-C connector over here. So you can see here, I'm plugging in right in. Very simple. And immediately it says headset. So that means that the receiver you can see is here, it says headset. Alright, so immediately you can see that the receiver is actually ready to connect with the headset. So what you need to do next is when you head over to the headset, you see this switch here first. It says 2.4. Alright, flip it up. It says blue. It's connected. And what you can do is just to make sure that it's actually connected, all right? You just bring it up into the media output. You just want to check the volume rocker. Make sure that it's actually controlling, all right? So I'm actually going up and down using the rocker on the left side, which is actually for the wireless 2.4 gigahertz USB. So what I need to do here is to see if it can play. So, Right, good. So the control works. Oh, you're actually hearing this audio from the headphone itself. Very, very loud. All right. Okay, I'm going to pause because I don't want to have to all the copyright thing. Okay, so this has actually been a segment showing how you can actually connect uh, the headphone, the ROG Delta 2 to the wireless receiver on an Android smartphone. So this segment of the video is actually to show you how to actually use ROG USB receiver with an iPhone 15, all right? So I have with me here is actually the iPhone 15 Pro. Headphone is here, the receiver is here. Let's plug it in. There we go. And then you actually see, are you connecting a pair of headphones? If you switch devices, you say headphones. All right, and then you immediately you see the icon here change. It will show ROG Delta 2, 2.4 gigahertz, all right, with the headphone icon. What you need to do next is to switch on. So here you can see that this is on the left side of the, of the ear cup. Below here, you actually see the 2.4 gigahertz switch, off and on switch, so you need to switch it on. Give it a couple seconds. When all the lights are booted up, you'll see that this is actually booted up. How to tell here is a solid blue light. That means it's actually connected with the USB-C receiver. But of course, how to actually check whether it's connected or not? Very simple. On the left volume dial, dial up, you can actually see moving up, moving down. This will indicate that it's actually connected. So what I need to do next, of course, is to play some music. So you can see. This is actually coming right out from the, from the headphone itself at maximum volume. Next track. Let's roll down the volume. You can see the volume bar going down, going up again. Now next, let's test the control. Let's start playing. Okay, the music is playing now. Okay, let's see. Press one, pause.
So this is actually a simple test. The ROG receiver, it actually works with an iPhone 15. It's clean and simple and very straightforward. Okay, so for this video, I'll be showing you guys how to actually connect ROG Delta 2 using the USB receiver with an Apple MacBook. So what I need to do first is to actually plug it in. You actually see this pop up. It actually says that you allow connection to the ASUS Tech ROG Delta 2 to this Mac. You have to click on allow and voila. Go to sound and you can see it here. So you can choose to this. Once you select this, it means that the laptop and the receiver, they are both ready to be connected to the headphone. First and foremost, as always, on the left side of the ear cup, you will actually see the 2.4. What you need to do is switch it on. Blue indicates that it's actually connected with the receiver. So how to actually know that it's actually connected? You will just see the volume, all right? So you can see the volume going up, going down. Now it's actually muted, all right, you see? So this is actually the rocker here. You can see the rocker doing the rocker so let's play some music shall we volume up so this is coming right out from the headphone itself volume up volume down all right so let's test the control one pause is playing right now. You can see the volume up. So I'm gonna try. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a mic test on the Jabra. Mm -hmm. Skipping. Right, so press. See it works on video. Real deal from just five dollars. Now that's a real deal. Pause the video. Start the video. Let's skip. So let's see if it skips the video. Nope. Doesn't really skip the video. Do take note is that the next track and the previous track it only applies to songs, doesn't really apply to like YouTube video. So do take note the multifunctional button here, it only works with play and pause. The next track, the previous track actually doesn't work with videos, it only works with audio, but it works fine connecting to a MacBook using a USB C receiver.